Hey guys, uh, welcome to your compatibility reading uh, for Scorpio and Sagittarius. Um, so uh, we are going to take a look to see if Scorpio and Sagittarius are compatible. So just apply this to your own unique situation. Okay, we'll do you versus them. I'll put Scorpio on this side and I'll put Sagittarius on this side. You can switch the roles, whichever side fits you. And then we'll finish off the read to see what the possible outcome and advice are between you guys. So like I said, apply this to your own unique situation and keep in mind that there are other factors that gets factored in. Uh, like each of your guys' zodiac charts, okay? Um, you know, such as your rising, your moon, uh, your Mercury, your Venus, your Mars, etc. You know, your guys' upbringing, uh, traumas, karma, uh, past life uh, issues, okay? Um, so typically, in ast astrology textbook, Sagittarius and Scorpio can be a tough pairing, uh, but it can work uh, with open and honest communication because there's a there's a dose of each other's personalities that you guys could use a little bit of because you know Sagittarius is a mutable sign, a fire sign. So this is a really quick energy. This is an energy that likes to you know have fun, be spontaneous, and travel. And then um, Scorpio is fixed. So that's an energy that's you know more calm. You know, sort of like a creature of habit. You know, this is an energy that needs a lot of consistency. And you know and. And Scorpio is a water sign, so Scorpio can, you know, kind of take out the fire of, uh, uh, you know, uh, Sagittarius. So, you know, Sagittarius could feel kind of suffocated by Scorpio. And, you know, and Scorpio could feel like, you know, Sagittarius energy is like super overwhelming. You know, it could be a little too much. Uh, so, yeah, so it's a tough pairing, but it can work. Uh, but like I said, it really depends on many different factors that I just listed, okay? Um, so uh, let's see, if you guys haven't done so yet, uh, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. So these are collective messages for Scorpio people that is dealing with the Sagittarius, vice versa, okay? So um, keep in mind that these are collective messages for Scorpio and Sag, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular, I'm just tapping into the pairs of each of the collective, okay? Um, so if you guys want a reading specific to your unique situations, to your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me, okay? So we're gonna get started. We're gonna take a look to see uh, if you guys are compatible according, you know, just, and like I said, apply this to your own unique situation, okay? Messages for uh, Scorpio and Sagittarius. Is Scorpio compatible with Sagittarius? Is Sagittarius compatible with Scorpio? And you could apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, okay? And like I said, these messages are timeless. So whatever you think. Are Scorpio and Sagittarians compatible? Or Sa uh, are Scorpios and Sagittarians compatible? That was loud, I'm sorry. We have the Two of Swords. You know, I feel like with the Two of Swords here, there's a bit of a stalemate energy between you guys, okay? Um, you know, I feel like someone here could be indecisive. Maybe both of you guys are indec indecisive here. We have the Empress, so Libra Taurus energy. Some of you guys might have these energies in your chart, yeah? We have the Tower, Aries Scorpio energy. You know, this is, like I said, this is a really tough pairing. Yeah, there's just a lot of upheaval between you guys. There's just, you know, I feel like there's a, there's a lack of alignment. There's a lack of cohesion between you guys. You know, I feel like there's one person that's extremely mature, someone here who's extremely responsible, uh, but, you know, and someone here might not be. We have the Six of Cups. Seems like you guys have a, a strong soul tie here. We have the Queen of Cups, so Cancer, uh, Scorpio, Pisces, and then we have the Nine of Cups here. Remember how I was saying that, you know, sometimes, you know, uh, Scorpio can suffocate Sagittarius? 
Sagittarius like wants to be in a relationship with you, but they still want their freedom and their independence. They still want to be on their own too. You know, I feel like Sagittarius is like, you know what, Scorpio, I love you, I care about you, but I can't be there holding your hand all the time. You know what I mean? Or it could be vice versa. Maybe Sagittarius is behaving that way. Uh, highly unlikely unless Sagittarius has Scorpio in their chart, okay? Um, you know, and the communication might be, the, the communication style between you guys are really different too uh, because Sagittarius is really direct and forward and blunt and then, you know, Sag, uh, Scorpio is not. And Scorpios tend to be secretive, but you know, we all could be secretive to a degree. So it's just, like I said, it's a, it's a very difficult pairing. It's a very odd pairing because uh, it's the energy is a complete polar opposite. We have fire, we have water. And like I said, water puts out fire, okay? Uh, so, but like I said, it, it really, it, it, there are different variables here. Uh, you know, I, I've seen odd pairings work out. Like I have a friend, uh, she's a Capricorn and she's married to a Gemini complete polar, polar opposites, but somehow they work, okay? Um, so let's see, tell, oh, tell me about this two of swords. Why is this two of swords here? You know, I would say according to what I'm seeing here, um, no, it just seems like you guys are not on the same page here. You guys don't speak the same language, yeah. Yeah, because it seems like one person here, you know, wants to be with you, but at the same time, they need their freedom. You know, that's Sagittarius, they, they, they're, 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 they're roamers, they're travelers, they need to, uh, you know, they, they need a lot of stimulation by being outside and seeing the world and experiencing the world, yeah? So, let's see, two of swords. Yeah, I haven't met a lot of Sagittarians that don't like to travel. Most Sagittarius or anyone that has Sagittarius in their chart loves to move around and they can't stay in one spot for too long. Um, two of swords. Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Okay. Tell me about this Empress here. You know, there is one energy here that's more mature, and then there's an energy here that's not very mature. You know, when I see a page, this is an indication that someone here doesn't really have a lot to offer. So I feel like that's the imbalance here. You know, someone here could be giving a lot emotionally, and then the other person's not. Um, the Empress. We have the Two of Wands here. There's a lot of indecision here. So someone here is like super indecisive. Could be both of you guys. Yeah. Could be both of you guys. Tell me about the tower here. And the page of wands. You see, we have we have an empress and a queen. Okay, and then we have a page. Yeah, so the, the, the maturity, tr maturity level is completely different. You know, um, you know, like I said, this depends on each individual. But Sagittarians are typically depend on the Sagittarius. Sagittarians are very childlike, you know. They just like to have fun, and you know, and uh, Scorpios could be, you know, serious. Uh, but Scorpios tend to have really great sense of humors, you know. So you know, like, but like I said, it, it depends. It depends. Keep in mind. That's why I, I emphasize the variables, you know. Since this is, you know, a general read, six of cups. In a strength card, Leo energy. Yeah, you guys have a very, very, very strong soul tie. Uh, I'm feeling like there's a dynamic between you and your person, um, Sagittarius or uh, Sagittarius Scorpio. Uh, it's it's seemingly it seems like it's a like a, a like a parent child relationship. You know, there's such an imbalance here, um, but you guys have a very strong connection. The Queen of Cups. You have the Hermit here, Virgo energy. Yeah, you see, there's an individual here. You know, like they want to be with you, they love you, but at the same time, there's an individual here that likes to be on their own. They need time to recharge by themselves, okay? Tell me about the Nine of Cups. Nine of Swords, yeah. There's too much stress and anxiety. So I feel like when someone here goes off on their own, someone here is already thinking the worst. Oh my God, is someone cheating on me? What are they doing? You know, uh, are, are, are they messing around? Are they texting someone else, you know? So yeah, we have the Six of Swords here. It just seems like there's a lack of forward movement and I feel like it's too much work. You know, relationship is work, but it's it seems like it's work, it's too much work in a way where someone here is like pulling their teeth out, pulling their nails out, pulling their hair out. 
And like I said, it seems like an energy that, um, you know, both of you guys are not speaking the same language here. Okay, so let's take a look at Scorpio. See what uh, Scorpio's over energies are like, how they're currently feeling towards their Sagittarius. How they view their Sag messages for Scorpio. What is Scorpio's current over energies? How do you currently feel their Sagittarius? How do you currently feel about their Sagittarius? We have the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Wands. Well, Scorpio, it seems like you find your Sagittarius to be super hot and super sexy and uh, very good in bed, okay? Um, you know, Sagittarius, you could be viewing your Scorpio like that. And like I said, just place yourself where you see fit, okay? So I, I'm getting that between you and your person, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Scorpio, Sagittarius, the sex is like super good, okay? So, so maybe that's something that you guys really agree on here. Um, we have the Hermit again. So we have the Hermit right there, okay? We have the Queen of Cups, and then we have the Queen of Cups right here. Okay, so Scorpio, I feel like you're this feminine energy here. I feel like you're this more mature energy. Very interesting. What I'm getting here is that I feel like Sagittarius chased Scorpio. And it's more like a sexual, passionate thing here. And I feel like Scorpio's more in their feelings, you know? And I feel like Scorpio's wondering if, you know, if Sagittarius has the same feelings for Scorpio. We have the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have the Nine of Wands here. So we have someone here. So Scorpio is viewing Sagittarius as someone here that is very immature, very childlike. And I feel like someone here is seeing that, you know, someone's trauma is really getting the best of them. Wow, there's a lot of betrayal here. So I'm feeling like, you know, Sagittarius might have pushed you away, Scorpio. This person might have betrayed you. This person made, might have made promises that they didn't keep. Uh, this person might, may, you know, made promises, but they didn't show, they didn't, they, they had nothing to show for it. Why is this Knight of Wands here? Why is this Knight of Wands here? Tell me about this Knight of Wands. Why is this Knight of Wands here? And the Six of Swords. You, you see, Scorpio views Sagittarius as someone here that can't stick around. So, you know, I feel like you're you're tired of this person's in and out, You're uh, Scorpio. You're tired of this person's false promises. And I feel like Scorpio, you distance yourself from the Sagittarius here. You're Sagittarius, the Ace of Wands. We have the Sun, Leo energy. You know, the thing is, I feel like he, this person makes you feel very happy, Scorpio. Yeah. I feel like when you guys are together, you guys like really enjoy each other's companies. You get, you guys have a great time, great time in bed. I feel like you guys have like like an intense sexual connection here. Tell me about the hermit. I'm gonna seven the cups. Yeah, so Scorpio, you're confused by Sagittarius' actions, you know, because of the inconsistencies here. Yeah, and I feel like you're trying to distance yourself, trying to figure out what's going on here and what's next for you. Queen of Cups. You got the Nine of Cups. This is interesting. You know, because, you know, Scorpio, you might have Sagittarius in your chart because this is an indication that someone here likes to be alone too. You know, this is someone here that likes to be alone. So, I don't know, maybe the situation's reversed. Like I said, it really depends on each of your guys' zodiac charts, your guys' upbringings, traumas, karma, you know, past life stuff. Because it seemingly seems like the person that's super needy is Sagittarius. The thing is, that's not really typical Sagittarius characteristic. Uh, so it really, there, so, so there's something underlying going on here, okay? Tell me about this Page of Cups. 
You have a King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Tell me about this uh, Nine of Wands here and the Eight of Wands. You know, I feel like you're tired of someone here not communicating well either. Or that, you know, perhaps, you know, your, your Sagittarius is communicating, but they're communicating in code. It's not clear to you. You're confused, okay? So it's like, like I said, one minute they're lovey-dovey and the next, the next moment someone here is, you know, completely disengaged and distant. Yeah, it seems like this is really stressful. It seems like there's a lot of, uh, just a painful experience for somebody. And you know, it takes two be two, it takes two to be in a relationship. So it could be a painful experience for the both of you guys in varying degrees, depending on you know how you guys deal with things and how hard things hit you guys. Okay, seems like this is a twin flame connection here, from what I could tell. All right, we're gonna take a look at Sagittarius. Tell me about Sagittarius. What is Sagittarius? What is Sagittarius's current overall energies? This could be an indication that Scorpio that you're happy by yourself right now if you if you separated from your Sagittarius, okay? What do you have for Sagittarius? Over energies for Sagittarius. Over energies for Sagittarius. How does Sagittarius currently view Scorpio? How does Sagittarius currently view Scorpio? What are their feelings towards Scorpio? Hold on a second, just completely move this. Okay. The seven of wands and the four of pentacles okay so sagittarius sagittarius views scorpio as someone who who's very guarded and is not open i mean depends on the situation depends on the person but sometimes for scorpio it takes a bit of longer time for scorpio to open up yeah I mean, Sag uh, Scorpios are t typically not really, um, you know, is someone here who's not really easily trusting of people. Yeah, so it takes some time. Even even though you know Scorpios start trusting people, if they still have a hard time opening up to people. Yeah, so we have the uh, King of Wands. So we have the King of Wands right there. We have the Lovers. So. Um, Scorpio, your Sagittarius loves you. Yeah. But I feel like, you know, Sagittarius has told you that, Scorpio. But, you know, but, you know, Scorpio, you're, you're having a hard time opening up your heart space. So I feel like, you know, maybe Sagittarius intuitively picks that up, that you're like pushing them away or that you're not op opening up. It's creating a lot of indecision here, I feel, regarding that. So, like I said, both of your communication styles are completely different, yeah? Uh, we have the moon, Cancer Pisces, yeah. So, Sagittarius views Scorpio as someone who is very secretive. Yeah, so, you know, it, 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 when it comes to that, you know, it, 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 it's, it's sort of like a protection thing for uh, Scorpio. You know, because when they get hurt, they get really, really hurt. So yeah, obviously we're gonna protect their heart. Yeah, obviously Scorpios are gonna take some time, take a lot of time to trust people, to open up, you know? Uh, the moon, Cancer, Pisces energy, and the chariot, Cancer energy. Sagittarius energy in the bottom of the deck here, um, judgment. I feel like Sagittarius is about to make a judgment call regarding Scorpio here. Yeah, it seems like, you know, um, Sagittarius might want to close this out or something like that, or it's not going anywhere. Yeah, so I feel like Sagittarius views Scorpio as someone here who's not telling the truth, is not being honest, is hiding secrets. Tell me about the Seven of Wands here. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Nine of Cups. Yeah, so this is interesting. 
because I feel like one individual has shared all their cups with someone and then another person didn't. We have the Nine of Cups and the Nine of Cups right here. Yeah, because we have someone here who's pushing this away or blocking it or something like that. Uh, Four of Pentacles. We have the Hierophant here, Taurus Energy. Yeah, so I feel like, you know, I feel like what's happening here is Sagittarius is taking a long time or is having a hard time trusting Sagittarius here. Well, I could tell if Sagittarius, especially if Sagittarius, you know, is behaving in the way where it's creating that space where, you know, it's really hard to trust, you know? So let's see. Tell me about this uh, King of Wands. We have the Page of Wands. Okay. Aries, Leo, Sag. The Lovers. And the Six of Swords here. So I feel like Sagittarius does want to move forward in the connection here with Scorpio. But, you know, Sagittarius likes to have fun. They like to do super spontaneous stuff. And Scorpio's, you know, it depends on the Scorpio, but, you know, that's not in uh, the uh, in Scorpio's DNA. They, you know, they're not really adventurous people. But like I said, it really depends. It really depends on the rest of your chart. Uh, let's see, tell me about this, uh, the moon card. Tell me about the moon card. With the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, so Sagittarius is viewing Scorpio as someone that it's it, it's so hard to get Scorp Scorpio to open up. You know, Sagittarius feels like it's too much work. Uh, the uh, Chariot and the Eight of Cups. Yeah, so I feel like right now, Sagittarius is considering walking away from this. You know, disconnecting from this. Disengaging. So it's too hard for Sagittarius, okay? It's too hard for Sagittarius. Let's see what else we have here. All right, um, what is the possible outcome and advice for Scorpio and Sagittarius? What does Scorpio and Sagittarius need to know regarding their connection here? Outcome and advice for Sagittarius and Scorpio. What is the possible outcome and advice between Scorpio and Sagittarius? What does Scorpio and Sagittarius need to know regarding their connection? What can be the possible outcome and advice? I feel like the best advice here is to communicate openly, openly and honestly. Yeah, you know, like I said, even though in by book, Scorpio and Sagittarius is not a good pairing, it can work. Yeah, it can work. You know, like I said, I, I've seen, you know, these mismatch, uh, uh, you know, of people in my life and somehow they work. Yeah. Uh, you know, like uh, the friend uh, that uh, uh, the example I was giving you with my friend, she's a Capricorn and she married a Gemini, complete polar opposites, but somehow they work. They've been together for a very long time. Yeah. So. Yeah, I have a friend also. Yeah, another friend. Uh, he's an Aries, uh, uh, you know, they're both my friends. And then, you know, his partner is Scorpio. Yeah, complete polar opposites. Uh, but they have things in common because Aries and Scorpio are both, uh, uh, their, their, their housing planet is on Mars. Um, so, you know, but, you know, it depends on, you know, different variables here. We have the Four of Swords. We have the Ace of Wands. We have the High Priestess, Cancer Pisces energy. We have the Fool, Aries energy, okay? We have the Four of Cups. And the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I feel like the only way that this could work is that, like I said, I feel like both of you guys take a bit a splash from each other. Yeah, so and, and, and communicate. The communication is so important because with the High Priestess, this is telling me that there are secrets here. Yeah, there are secrets here. You know, and kind of like tone back on the sex thing, you know, I feel, I feel like there's more to... Uh, a relationship that sucks because we have the Ace of Wands here again. We have the Four of Swords, sort of like taking a break. You know, I'm not telling you to not have sex, but uh, if you guys are doing it like three or four times a day, 
give it a rest, you know, do other things, you know, get to know each other more, you know, go out there and enjoy life, be adventurous, you know, live life footloose fancy free, you know, but I feel like the thing that's most important is, you know, consistent, uh, consistency too. That's important, especially for Scorpio, I feel. You know, they need they, they need consistency. They need that, you know, uh, you know, the, the the habitual thing, you know, sort of like, okay, this is the time that this is happening. Okay, this is the time that I usually get a call, you know, so um, let's see what else we have here. Four of Swords. Oh, maybe the King of Wands. You got there so true pairs here, you guys. You guys are soulmates. Yeah, you guys are soulmates. The Ace of Wands or Twin Flames, Seven of Pentacles. I I, th I feel like the there there needs to be a lot of communication, reassessing, you know, sort of like meeting in the middle here because there are huge big extremes right now. Yeah. So uh, the High Priestess. And you have the Devil. Wow. Be careful, Communi communicate, 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 because I feel like the, the more that there is a lack in communication, there's just going to be so many issues. And over time, it's going to become a toxic situation, and you don't want that. That's the last thing that you want, okay? Tell me about the fool. Capricorn energy with that uh, uh, devil. We have the knight of swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Yeah, I feel like it's important that there needs to be consistency. And I feel like it's also important to go on adventures too. Yeah, so kind of like meet in the middle. I feel like that's important. Commu I, I, I just keep getting communication. That's so important. So, so, so important. The so four cups, eight of swords. Someone here has to get out of their, got, get out of their head too. Yeah, someone here is creating really bad scenarios here and it's creating you know insecurity distrust so that's where this communication comes in queen of wands yeah because you know if you don't communicate you know people do have wild some people do have wild imaginations even though it's not really happening you know some some people could go there uh, the queen of wands and the knight of cups you know, and I feel like, you know, there needs, someone here needs to open up with their emotions or both of you guys need to open up with your emotions and start, show more of your sensitive side because someone here could run a bit cold, okay? So we have the Hermit here, Virgo Energy. Also, since this is such an odd pairing, take some time out. S reassess the situation, self-reflect self introspect to see if this is for you. But I feel like it can, it can work. The communication is so important though. Yeah, it just seems like the communication is not so great between you guys, okay? It, it's just more that you guys are communicating through your bodies, which is a component to the relationship. But, you know, if there's, a, you know, a missing, co missing components here, you know, the talk, talking, you know, the consistency, and, and you know, it's just not gonna work. Yeah, you know, keep in mind, yeah, polar opposite energies do does work. Um, so just, um, yeah, so um, Scorpio, Sagittarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.